What's the weirdest sexual request you've ever had? Take off your socks. If my husband could post this. One time my husband let me tie a sharpa to his boner while he laid in bed. I held a piece of card over it and had him try to write a bunch of stuff with his dick. Fast forward weeks later when my mother asks whose kid drew the picture on the fridge as we don't have kids. She told me to roll a die some mornings in secret. If it came up a one I had to rape her at some point before the day was up. The weird part was that she insisted on not having a safe word. Apparently that ruined it for her. She wanted to feel completely powerless with absolutely nothing she could say or do to stop it once she'd set things in motion. A girl wanted me to wear a Teletubby costume while she pegged me. I had a boyfriend ask me to dress him in a skirt and apply a full face of whore makeup before pegging him. I of course obliged because strange random opportunities such as that don't present themselves often. I made him look like a real high class whore. He decided to continue globbing on makeup to the point that he was objectively unfuckable. I courtesy fucked him anyways. But it was pretty disturbing. The way he did his makeup made me feel like I was dominating a very submissive, yet deranged fucked up clown. Plus, I was a bit annoyed he had wasted so much of my makeup creating such a colorfully horrific shit show on his face. My first girlfriend wanted me to put on her skirt and she would put on my clothes. I just lifted the skirt and fucked her. Wasn't all that bad. Girl I dated didn't want dick pics but wanted videos of me peeing. Like consistently. Never got tired of them. A guy I used to go out with wanted to go down on me while I was on my period. Said he wanted to feel like a werewolf eating his prey. No oh thank you. I was going down on a girl and she asked me to bite her clit. She had to repeat herself. Because I wanted to make damn sure I heard her properly before doing that. There was also the girl who. On pretty much our first date. Told me. If I get drunk tonight. Don't fuck me in the ass. Uh okay. I, wasn't going to. I'd never done anal at this point. Well. I'll probably ask you to. to this is sober me telling you not to listen to drunk me. Edit, lol at people giving this the wholesome award. Edit 2, to answer the many. Many questions. No we didn't do anal that night. I, I, I R C she didn't end up asking for it. We actually ended up dating for a while though. And it happened dozens of times after. Also. Anal sex is fine but a lot of guys build it up to be this awesome thing that's 10x better than PIV and it's really not. All of the women I've been with think that doggy style is being kinky. Yes. Both of them. She was a nurse. She put a plastic sheet on the bed. And told me to slowly feed the string of beads up her arse as I licked and fingered her pussy. Then she told me to fuck her as hard as I could. And when she told me to. Pull the beads out fast. I did. Shit everywhere. I did not come that night. A guy I dated wanted me to put a fork up his ass. Unusual request for sure. I was on Badu. This older woman started talking to me which at first I thought was a catfish I went along with it for the shits and gigs. After your standard conversation. She just changed the game with. I want you to piss and shit on me whilst calling me a whore. At that point I deleted my profile and went on with my life. She asked me to come on a bowl of strawberries and she would then eat them. She wanted to be treated like a baby and pee in a makeshift diaper. Pee grosses me out but whatever. I'll try most anything once. And it made her happy. It was the reason for the rule if you get a bodily fluid on the laundry. You do that laundry. Because old piss sheets are gross AF and I wasn't gonna do piss laundry every week. But she hated doing laundry too. So we only did it that once. We've broken up ages ago but that rule stands should I have a partner in future. You deliberately make a bio mess. Okay. But you clean that mess. My girlfriend told me if we can cuddle before marriage. I am getting the most confused boner of my life reading some of these replies. He was super into nudes, common, and anal insertion, common. But I gradually found out that the objects he preferred to see me use were, less common. I was so. So in love with him that I started finding whatever bizarre objects I could to take pictures with. One morning. 
I wandered into my workplace's kitchen to find that a co-worker had brought in. Fresh from her garden. A basket of squash. Never in my life have I felt such a strong mix of pride and shame as I did that day. A girl once asked if I would mind if she called me daddy. I didn't really think much of it and said sure that's fine with me. Fast forward to us going at it and I could tell she was getting close because she just kept saying oh. Daddy over and over and over again for like a legitimate three minutes. It gave me a really weird vibe and I didn't try to pursue a relationship after that. A friend of mine once told me about a guy who only had sex with him if there was a bucket in the bedroom. They didn't even use the bucket. It was just a random requirement. Girlfriend asked to call me daddy. I said yes. She says oh daddy. I said oh mommy. Then suddenly she didn't have daddy fantasies anymore. I mean this probably isn't that weird in the realm of weird sex stuff but a guy I hardly knew once asked me. While sober. If I'd pee into his open mouth. I politely declined and he offered to pay. I still declined but considering the current economic climate I kinda wonder what that dude's up to. She used to go to sleep and tell me when you think I'm deeply asleep. Touch me. Lick me. Fuck me how you want. I want you to rape me. I was 16 then and I really didn't know how to react but I ended up doing it anyways. A girl I dated sophomore year of college handed me a large, fluffy ostrich feather and asked me to gently caress every part of her body with it. Not like a request but her saying you can do anything with me, hit me. Spit on me. Anal, you name it. I felt like a child at the candy store and didn't know where to start. Edit, my previous top voted comment was about how my ex falsely claimed that I was an abuser and now this. Uh, thank you. Guys. Erg I've had a few. Most are weird to me because I have really weird issues about violence during sex. But the worst was most definitely. She wanted me to choke her until she passed out. Then ejaculate on her face while she was unconscious. She was crazy. Like not in a I'll stab you during your sleep crazy she was an awesome person we did a lot of messed up shit together. Yeah, just her sexual boundaries were terrifying. Also she had quite a few dudes as almost slaves. She made one dude tattoo on his pubic bone her name's little slut. She wasn't even sleeping with him. It was just a complete and utter well. Simp relationship maybe? I don't know. He threatened me once lol. Oh boy, let's see here. It was once requested that I put on a costume, hair and all, to look like a stereotypical mother from the 1950s. Then from there she wanted to be put into a large box, tied up, and have me fill it with packing peanuts as well as close and tape the box shut. It took me a few minutes to process it all but damned if you don't do the weirdest things for those you love haha. It was like therapy for her in the end after I got her out. Edit, since someone asked, I am a woman. Roommate with two girls and two guys. Big house. We are all studying at the same place. Six months in and one day I accidentally enter one of the bathrooms. One of the girls is taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. And the air quality makes it clear that things are well on their way. She looks at me direct into my eyes and says she wants to suck my dick. I manage to bumble an okay. To which she replies right now. If you leave the bathroom I won't want to. I only want to do it right now. Nope swiftly. My first GF asked me to pee while inside her. It didn't work. I remember watching a movie with an ex who I'm still good friends with and she suggestively leaned closer to me and whispered, I've got an interesting way of torturing you. I laughed it off until she lunged for me pinned me down on the couch and I just waited for her torture only for her to start talking words of encouragement. You are a valid and important person and your emotions are justified and you deserve to be loved. Needless to say she did as she promised. That was some severe torture I still haven't recovered from. My ex became increasingly addicted to everything about my body as time went on. At first it was normal like my spit and then it became my sweat. Which was still okay. And then it became my pee and eventually he asked me to fart in his mouth. I stopped before the whole thing escalated into a shit storm. Pun intended. Since I became a, single, Mom I've hooked up with some guy friends. And once we're rolling I usually try to steer them away from sucking on my nipples. Cause you know. There will be milk. 
except all of them insist on it saying it's not weird and then just start to full on nurse on me like kittens. I don't even know if it's that weird since it's happened so many times. But I don't feel sexy, not uncomfortable either so I don't know. One chick told me to talk to her pussy. It was pretty awkward because it didn't answer back. I had a friend's mom tell us she was with this guy who could only come if in the middle of sex she tore off her shirt and yelled I release the power of the pussy. She said he would go to Costco and Walmart and get cheap t-shirts in bulk. And cut a little slit in the collar so it was easy to rip. And just hoarded them in his house in case he had a lady guest. Thanks for watching.